Let's talk about Gemini and its symbol. Most obviously, it looks like Roman numeral two, and it represents the Gemini twins, Castor and Pollux, there they are. When we talk about this symbol, we have to discuss twin pillars, which once you start looking into, it's very interesting and you'll be surprised where you see it. In Freemasonry, you'll see twin pillars in a lot of their artwork. If you go to Freemasonic Lodge, you'll most likely see these twin pillars. And if you connect these lines right here, well, you'll also see the twin pillars within Judaism. The only synagogue I ever went to had twin pillars at its main entrance. And then I know Solomon's temple had the front flanked by these pillars or columns as well. It's a big deal in their tradition. In fact, if you look at the Torah scrolls, I was just looking into this, it's related to the same twin pillar symbolism. Well, related to both Freemasonry and Judaism is the Kabbalistic tree of life. You'll notice that there are three convenient pillars or columns when you start studying it. The left column and the right column represent these pillars as well. They're called Boaz and Yaquin. This middle column represents the middle path or middle way. There's a lot that you can look into and study in regards to the Tree of Life and Twin Pillars. What's fascinating to me is the fact that Mercury plays a big, big part in Freemasonry and in Esoteric Judaism. What a lot of people don't realize or understand is that Mercury is very much related to the one or the post or the pillar or the column or the tree of life. And in my opinion, it's all pretty much the same thing the more I learn about it. As an example, this is Crowley's magician card. You can see here it's number one. You can see down here the symbol for Mercury. And then you can also see that there is this pillar behind the magician, right? Well, this is the same symbolism. And you can also see that there's snakes wrapped around this pillar or post. By the way, this is where we get postage in the post office from because Mercury is the messenger of the gods because he travels up and down this column between the realms, between um, the heavens and the lower realms, okay? So this is clearly the caduceus. This is a mercurial symbol. So when you're looking at the twin pillars, you have to recognize that the single pillar is very much related to Mercury, which actually rules Gemini. And the more you make the connection between the single pillar or the post or the pole and Mercury, it unlocks a lot of interesting symbolism, which I'm just barely scratching the surface of. As always, I would love to know what you think, and that'll do it. Thanks.